Hello children, welcome back to my class. Today I am going to explain how to mark square root 5.6 on the number line. So this is square root of 5.6. We should mark on the number line. So for that, take some suitable measurement length of any measurement. Draw a straight line. Straight line. Mark a point A. From A, take this measurement that is 5.6 centimeter. Measure 5.6 centimeter. This is point B. So, what you should remember? Whatever the measurement given, same measurement you should take the point A and B. Now, from B, measure 1 centimeter. From B, measure 1 centimeter. Mark it as C. Is it clear? Now, we are going to bisect A and C. So, for bisect, what, what is the method we will do? Just bisect. Take more than half of this measurement. Take more than half. Mark an arc on both the side. You are bisecting uh, A and C. So, mark a dotted line. Are you able to see? Let me draw with the dark ink. This is the center of A and C. Let me take it as D. Okay. Now D as center. D as center. D A as radius. D A is as radius. You should mark. A yes, semicircle. Is it clear? First what we did? We had taken 5.6. Whatever the given measurement, we should take that measurement. A, B is that measurement. Then from B, mark 1 centimeter. So now you should consider A and C. You should find out the center point of A and C by bisecting. So now D is the center point. With D as center and D A as radius, mark a semicircle. Now you should join. You should draw a perpendicular line from B. From draw a perpendicular line from B to this semicircle. Mark it as some other alphabets. Let me take E. Okay, so now this is the measurement that is root 5.6. So how to mark the point on the number line? Just take your compass, adjust your compass so that exactly this measurement you should measure. Draw a arc till the number line. Is it clear? Now this point is nothing but root 5.6. So, consider this is the zero of the scale. If you measure this, you will get around around 2.3. Around 2.3 you will get. So, we can check this answer by normal calculation. Let me do the calculation here. So, 5.6 Find the square root of 5.6 by the square root method. So, what is the method? Put how many digit you need after the decimal point. It should be pair. So, now take consider 5. 5 is the perfect nearest perfect square is 2 into 2, 4. Now, subtract 1. Keep the decimal point. At a time, bring this 2 digits, 60. So, 2 plus 2, 4. With the 4, if I multiply 3, 
3 into 43 I will get 126. So we can stop here itself because we need the exact answer 2.3. So that's what if you measure you will get 2.3. This is for verification. You can check your answer whether it is correct or not. Now again one more time I will explain the construction. Draw any suitable length. Mark a point A. From A measure whatever the given measurement 5.6. So 5.6 B is 5.6. Next from B mark 1 cm that is C. Now you should bisect A and C. How to bisect? From A take more than half mark arc on both the side. Then from C cut the arc. Draw the line so that you will get the center point. Now D is the center point. Keep your compass needle at D and radius A. D A is the radius. So draw a semicircle. Now from B draw a perpendicular line that is E. D E B uh, B B E is the perpendicular line. Now this is this measurement is root 5.6. So take your compass, same measurement you should measure and draw the semicircle. So this point will touch the number line at let it be P. So P is the point on the number line that measures root 5 pi 5.6. I hope you have understood this. Thank you.